All right, guys, let's talk about why I choose to use FL Studio Mobile over FL Studio on the desktop, you know, the main app. Okay, so it's not as cut and dry as just saying one is better than the next, but I've got some pretty strong reasons why I choose mobile first. Okay, so first things first, production is simple. If you're trying to get out simple ideas, basic beats, nice bass lines, you name it. It's so simple to produce no matter where you are. Production is just pretty much simple. Target your ideas, find your scale, get your notes, and that's it. You know, we can often overcomplicate things with so many unique plugins and just really overdoing it, okay? Another thing is mixing is also simple. There are certain basic fundamentals you can learn. Maybe I'll pin a video right now that's talking about simplifying mixing and getting a wide mix. I'll pin that right now and just using the left, right, and center, okay? So mixing is simple. Why do we need so much, so many plugins and so much horsepower, okay? The next thing is that mastering is also simple. There are certain basic fundamental practices that are taken when mastering, okay? So production is simple, mixing is simple, and mastering is simple. If you keep these three, thing, these three things simple, you'll be able to achieve excellent sound quality, okay? And you can do that with almost any software, all right? So vocal editing is kind of restricted in both FL Studio and FL Studio Mobile compared to other DAWs, right? So that's one thing I'll say. I don't necessarily think either one does exceptionally well, if I have to put it like that, vocal editing, right? But other than that, beat making, mixing, mastering, arranging, man, this can do it all. And I really, you know, I really only anticipate FL Studio and FL Studio Mobile to both increase their flexibility and user usability when it comes to editing vocals, okay? Okay, another thing that, well, one thing that is, is present currently in FL Studio that's not in FL Studio Mobile, which is amazing, is the AI stem separation. That is a mega update. So that's one thing I would love to see over here on FL Studio Mobile, okay? The next thing is, let's say the FL Studio piano rule is essentially regarded as the best in the world, right? And right now on desktop, so the FL Studio piano rule currently supports Python scripts for custom manipulation of your notes, okay? So you can create fu custom functions for your notes and load them pretty much on a fly. That is pretty incredible for those who know Python. All right, so those are two things that you can't really find on FL Studio Mobile. Again, that's AI stem separation, as well as Python scripts for custom, mani custom manipulation of your notes, okay? So those are two things that definitely FL Studio has the upper hand on, right? Now, for FL Studio Mobile, there are some critical plugins, okay? I would say, for example, the comb filter plugin is absolutely critical critical for creating let's say those industrial sounds uh and, and just creating some just some wild sounds with some real interesting separation and delay right okay and also of course um frequency adjusting and stuff like that okay so and this is beautiful because it's right here in fl studio mobile you can't be mad at that okay the parametric eq is probably the best eq i've ever made or i've ever used okay so i made a video about that i will also link that right now it's the eq it's talking about a very critical secret within this eq guys watch this video i'm telling you it's something else it's, it's incredible okay it's going to help you with your stereo imaging but it's also going to help you with your mixing and and so much more okay another couple of um really really good tools that are within fl studio mobile that make me come back to choose fl studio mobile over the desktop version the, i'm talking about the fl studio typical you know desktop version right um another critical tool would be the multi-band compressor okay multi-band compressor has a lot of cool functionality i guess i'll link that one up as well i'll have to link a lot of these guys check out these videos check out the video i'm talking this video right here pause it watch these videos and come back because the video i'm linking right now is on multi-band compressor and it goes in deep i think it's one of the best compressors i've personally ever used okay let's go on to tuned eq an amazing eq okay i've got one actually set up right here tuned eq right here okay amazing tool 
you could set your scale right here absolutely fantastic and you'll see these these uh frequency ranges moving and there's the multi-band compressor right there absolutely mind-blowing fantastic tool like one of my favorites it's also again so simple and then again as well maybe uh the analyzer tool just such a useful tool to visualize whatever you're doing and to to really find point fine tune what you're looking for and pinpoint those angles that you want to adjust it's it's such a great tool I, I love it and finally i would probably have to say distortion okay that's one of my favorite tools just overall it's got four different types of distortion and is panning as well it's it's such a great tool right okay let's look at this also another reason why i would choose fl studio mobile over fl studio right now is mobility and ease of connectivity and you can use third-party inter-app audio uh, integration with, of course, your iOS. So the sky's the limit with that. There's just like, you could just use this for so much. It's incredible. Guys, I didn't even mention the price one time. So you guys can add that on as well. Maybe the price, like seriously, maybe the price is also a great reason why so many people in my mind would want to choose FL Studio Mobile over FL Studio. But it really depends on your budget and it also really depends on what your goals are, okay? Another great reason why I would choose FL Studio Mobile over FL Studio is because syncing files between the mobile and the desktop version of FL Studio Mobile is so simple. And that's kind of like two parts to that, okay? Because it works as a plugin within FL Studio Desktop, which you can download for free, right? Or you could just buy it, which I would strongly recommend right and also i would also look at the il remote which is man you guys experience that joy i definitely made a video of the il remote the il remote image line remote i'll pin that right here as well There's a lot of pin video pinned uh, videos in this one here but check out that video because it talks about the il remote and all the great things you can do with it okay i do want to go deeper into that as well right and also there's one more critical thing is that you can continue your sessions in FL Studio Desktop. So yes, you can sync it, sync your files to use them as FL Studio Mobile in the desktop version of FL Studio, but you can also use this as a plugin again within FL Studio. So you have several plugins. I mean, we've already got the transistor base headed over or brought over to the desktop version transistor base t tb right here sorry tb transistor transistor base that's already been brought over and there will be more tools that are brought over i mean look at all the tools guys mini synth direct wave sampler gms uh, uh transistor base super saw slicer 3x oscillator some great tools there's even more guys effect sends it's a simple tool guys look leave your comments on why you use fl studio mobile over fl studio don't be shy like whatever it may be okay if you would skip fl studio mobile let us know why as well i'm very curious to hear i do check all the comments and guys look winning with blends again justin blends watch this video right now on the top five must have plugins for fl studio mobile all right guys all the best until next time all right see you guys